And welcome back to Ag Literacy with Kayla. As you can see this Friday, I am in my 4-H gear. Starting today, we did Spirit Fridays just to add a little more fun at home. So if you would like to participate, make sure that you follow us on our CCE of Rensselaer County 4-H Facebook page and follow us on Instagram. We have an announcement post on our 4-H Facebook. So we ask that those who want to participate put their pictures in the comment section of that post. So we'll have a thread going. And then if you post on Instagram or put it in your story, make sure that you tag Rensselaer County 4-H and we will put that on our story for today. Um, so when I'm um, in the um, description of the video, I will make sure to put the links to both of those web pages. So let's get into today's reading. Today, we are reading The Apple Orchard Riddle, written by Margaret McNamara and G. Brian Karras. The kids in Mr. Tiffin's class were going on a field trip. Hurry up, Tara, said Robert. You'll miss the bus. Tara took a seat by herself next to the window. She liked to look outside and wonder about things. Tara's in dreamland again, said Anna. The lights are on, but nobody's home, said Eleanor. Tara didn't hear them. She was too busy daydreaming. When they got to the orchard, everybody hurried off the bus. Everybody except Tara. Tara walked off slowly. It takes me a little more time to do things, she said. Yes, I've noticed, said Mr. Tiffin. The class gathered around the orchard's owner, Farmer Hills. Today, she said, we're going to take a tour of the orchard. We'll see how apples are picked and how cider is pressed. We'll watch apples get peeled by a special machine and we'll pick some apples off the trees. Plus, I have a riddle for you to solve, said Mr. Tiffin. What's the riddle, asked Charlie. Mr. Tiffin said, show me a little red house with no windows and no door, but with a star inside. That's it, said Jake. That's the riddle? That's the riddle, said Mr. Tiffin. Your job is to find the answer. How are we going to have time to figure this out while we also have to learn about apples, asked Molly. Are you sure this is fair? Yes, I'm sure, said Mr. Tiffin. I'm not very good at tests, Tara said. That's lucky, because this is not a test, said Mr. Tiffin. The class walked along a path lined with trees, stretching away as far as they could see. We grow 20 varieties of apples here, Farmer Hill said. Who can name some apple varieties? Um, Macintosh, said Alex. Granny Smith, said Jeremy. Crispin, Fuji, Gala, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Macown. Thank you, Eleanor, said Mr. Tiffin. Our varieties ripen at different times, so we pick them from late summer to early fall, said Farmer Hills. This pointy, the, these pointy ladders are what we use to pick the apples off the highest branches. I'm so tall, I probably wouldn't need a ladder, said Robert. Probably not, said Farmer Hills. These branches are so low, we can all reach, said Charlie. That's right, said Farmer Hills. Only pick apples off the trees, not off the ground, she added. To pick an apple, twist the stem till the fruit comes off the branch. She showed the class how to do it and gave them each a small bag for holding apples. They twisted and picked till their bags were full. Tara didn't pick any apples. Instead, she sat under a tree and looked at the sky. What was the riddle again, she asked. Show me a little red house with no windows and no door, but with a star inside, said Eleanor, who was good at tests. There was an apple on the branch right above Tara's head. Tara twisted it off. This is red, she said. Farmer Hill showed the class where the apples were stored. We keep the apples cold and fresh in the storage barn, she said. That way, 
folks can enjoy them all year round. Jake noticed something about the building. A red house, said Jake. And look, no windows. But it has two doors, said Anna. And Farmer Hills just said it had apples inside, not stars, said El Eleanor. So this is not the answer to the riddle, said Jake. Correct, said Eleanor. Tara wasn't looking at the barn. She was looking at her apple. She saw a, turn, a tiny worm burrowing into it. Hey, look who lives here, she said. Yuck, don't eat that one, said Robert. I won't, said Tara. She laid the wormy apple carefully on the ground. Mr. Tiffin tossed her an apple out of his bag and she took a bite. At the cider press, Farmer Hills put a raincoat and hat before she got close to the machine. Making cider must be a messy business, said Mr. Tiffin. And noisy, too, said Farmer Hills. The class watched, especially washed apples, traveled up a chute to get chopped up into tiny pieces. This is called pulp, said Farmer Hills. Pulp, said Eleanor. Nice word. Next, a farmhand used a hose to spray the pulp onto canvas sheets. Cool, said Jeremy. Finally, the sheets of pulp were pressed down hard. The juice flows through these sheets into a hose, said Farmer Hills. Then it gets pumped into a big metal tank for one last treatment. And then it's cider, asked Charlie. Then it's sterilized, and then it's cider, said Farmer Hills. Robert spotted an old tractor as they walked across the farmyard. The tractor, the tractor was red with rust. Hey, he called. This tractor doesn't have a window or a door. Alex and Charlie ran over. That's because this is a tractor, not a house, said Alex. It could be a house for mice, said Charlie. Mice sometimes live in a tractor seat. Alex and Charlie and Robert poked around the seat. There were no mice. Maybe there's a star inside, said Alex. Robert and Charlie looked all over the tractor. It had a steering wheel and a gas gauge and a couple of pedals, but no star, said Charlie. The apple peeler was the next stop. We use the peeled apples for pies and cakes, said Farmer Hills. She turned the machine on. It peeled each apple in the blink of an eye. Whoa, said Jeremy, that's fast. Do it again. Molly and Kimmy peered into the machine, but they did not get too close. It's sort of red, said Kimmy, even though it's also a little silver. And there are definitely no windows, said Molly. No, do no door either, said Jeremy, so we win. Yeah, but where's the star, Kimmy asked. The three of them watched as the, as the machine peeled the apples one after another. No star here, said Kimmy. At the end of the tour, Farmer Hills took the class to the farm stand. Help yourselves to a cup of apple cider and a cider donut, she said. Just one each, said Mr. Tiffin. But Tara's not eating hers, said Jake. Tara was still munching on the core of her apple. Aren't you done with that yet, said Robert? Not yet, said Tara. She chewed every last bit of it till she got to the seeds. Five seeds, she said. Just then, Mr. Tiffin looked at his watch. Hey class, he called, the bus will be here soon. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that apples come in a lot of different varieties, said Molly. Crispin, Fuji, Gala, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, McCown, said Eleanor. Cider presses make a lot of noise, said Jeremy. Donuts are yummy, said Jake. How about the riddle, said Mr. Tiffin. There doesn't seem to be an answer, said Eleanor. I told you it was no fair, said Molly. Tara walked over to Mr. Tiffin. She had five apple seeds in one hand and a round red apple in another. She handed Mr. Tiffin the apple. This is a little red house with no windows and no door, said Tara. 
That's not a house, said Jake. It is if you're a worm, said Tara. Mr. Tiffin smiled at Tara. Go on, he said. I think there's a star inside this apple, said Tara, where nobody can see it. If nobody can see it, who cares, said Robert. I care, said Mr. Tiffin. Let's take a look. The class gathered round. Mr. Tiffin took the apple out of Tara's hand. Where's the hidden star, he asked. You'll see it if you cut it this way, right across the middle, said Tara. Mr. Tiffin borrowed a small knife from Farmer Hills. He cut the apple in half right across the middle. When he pulled the apple apart, the class could see its five pointed star. Hey, Tara was right, said Molly. Just then the bus rumbled down the lane. Let's give a cheer for Farmer Hills class, said Mr. Tiffin, and they did. The donuts were great, Jake shouted. The class grabbed their jackets and bags and ran to go home. Come on, Tara, said Mr. Tiffin. When she got to the bus, Tara chose a seat by herself. She took a bite of an apple with a star inside. Then she looked out the window so she could daydream a little more. The end. Here is just another page that came along with the book. It's Mr. Tiffin's Apple Orchard Facts. So I will give you guys a chance to read that on your own time. Moving forward, as always, there are resources for you guys if you decide to do an educational activity at home. So I have put the link to the New York Ag in the Classroom website, and that'll take you directly to the website, the webpage for this book. Um, so you can go through the different activities for the different grade levels, depending on what you're doing, as always. And so this time, instead of going through the activity that came with the book, we decided to do a little different. So if you stick around, our 4-H program coordinator, Eileen, who does a lot of our general interest programs, um, will be doing a fun, healthy snack activity that you, can, you guys can do right at home. So again, if you have any questions, there is my email, as well as Eileen's, if you have any questions about the activity. I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for joining. Bye.